Привет, good morning. Как дела? Хорошо. Хорошо. Может, это отлично. It just started to rain mad, so I think Bumblebee is getting a nice clean today. Bumblebee is really dirty. Oh, too small. Uh, we go in our uh, in my garage. Uh -huh. and, uh, uh -huh. okay. okay. Yes. So unfortunately, this screw didn't work. But we will head over to Sergey's garage and see if he has another one. Well, look at this amazing breakfast spread. Salami, bread, butter. The most delicious coffee in the world because the milk is. And how do you say it? Somebody was sitting there and like milking the cow. <laughs> you can really taste it. 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 You can really taste You can tell if an egg is raw or boiled mm. by twirling it. Boiled egg spins easily, raw mm. egg doesn't spin. Mm. Ah. <laughs> totally cooked. This one totally cooked. Amazing. This one? Not cooked. Another way you can tell is this one when you. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you. Mm. Gretchka. So this is. Gretchka. 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 Oh, with butter. I think Gretchka is bulgur wheat with some butter. And what is butter again? And butter was masla. Masla. Maslo. Maslo. Well, with sort Mas of an O. Maslo. Maslo. Cheers. Spasiba. Thank you. <laughs> Spasiba. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> 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 Lovey's getting the Sergey rain treatment. <laughs> Anti rain, hey? <laughs> I'm so excited tonight to see how wet my uh, feet are. It's awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good morning world, welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the small town of Svobodny in the far east of Russia and we're here with Sergei and Olya. <laughs> <laughs> and we had a beautiful night last night staying with these guys, having an amazing dinner of homegrown potatoes from the garden with a homegrown Russian salad. It's crazy raining this morning and it's forecast to be raining on and off for most of the day. So we've got some protection, which is great. And let me show you guys where we're heading today. Okay, so we are now on page two of our Russian leg. And this is the road that we're gonna follow. That goes all the way around to Ulan Ude and then down into Mongolia. But today we are starting here and we are heading up, 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 up until Skovorodino. We're just heading off now to Sergei's garage, his workshop, because Sergei is a bike mechanic and he thinks that he might be able to fix our spokes. We're gonna head over to his garage right now and see what he can do. So because it's raining like crazy, we're actually gonna uh, take off the media mod from the GoPro. So we won't be able to talk whilst we're on the bike because these things aren't waterproof. Scoverdino is about 350 miles away and our navigation says it will take us six hours. Six hours in the rain. <laughs> we will fix our bumblebee and then we are ready to hit the road. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Do you speak Russian? Do okay. you speak English? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Moto. Remont. 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 Привет. 
Как дела? Нормально. Хорошо. working on it because for me it looks like decoration you know <laughs> and look at this one a lot of work yeah. Guys, look at this amazing bike. So somebody crashed with this bike in 1994 and it was completely broken, like the chassis here, everything was completely broken. Basically, Sergei has built this fairing out of two millimeter aluminium all by himself. He's rebuilt the entire fairing. And look how cool it looks. I mean, you would be totally the king on the road with something like that, hey? Yeah. Wow. What a cool motorbike. Is it good or not? Not good. Uh, not good. Oh, this one broke. And then after. This one good, not good? I don't know. Okay. Okay, what's happening? Uh huh. This one new. Well, it looks good! Perfect! So here... Ah, oh, it's good! You saved our lives! <laughs> Pasiba, thank you. Thank you. That's... <laughs> Sergey has done it. He has found two screws that will go on our spokes and he's fixed it up. So Bumblebee is back to 100%. And also, one of Sergey's friends, Lubla, is an English teacher here in Svobodny and she has brought some of her students to talk to us, to uh, experience speaking with an English speaking person. So we're going to go upstairs and go and chat to them. And see what they have learned so far. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. How are you? Very good, very good, very good. Hello, hello. How are you? Okay, and you? Very good, thank you. What's your name? My name is Lola. Lola? Lola, yeah. Lola, Lola. My name is Oliver and Lavinia. And your name? Uh, my name is Sachin. Sachin. Welcome, Welcome to Russia! Russia. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. One hour later. Bye! Bye bye, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, thank you. Good roll, yes? Yeah? Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, go. Yep. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Am I going to make it? Yep. Okay.
also we had a bit of a break from the rain we decided to stop and have a bite to eat Ola gave us some cheese <laughs> and some bread and some eggs and also my shoes they're working very well yeah my feet are wet <laughs> but it was so nice to hang out with those kids they were just asking us questions just general things what sports do you like how many brothers sisters it was really cool yeah and actually i was so surprised how good the level of english was like i learned english when i was 25 <laughs> <laughs> and there were like kids like uh, between like 10 and 13 so it was so nice is that my sandwich yes nice I'm just really happy now that everything is fixed up with Bumblebee and uh, Bumblebee is 100% ready to go. Yeah, thanks Sergey. Thanks Oya. You guys are amazing. Look what happened to my hands. The wet gloves, all the dye is coming out. Like both my hands are blue. But a nice sandwich. All right, all fueled up and we reconnected our media mod because look at the weather. Yeah, it's like a completely different to this morning. It looks so much better. Yep, blue skies and back to Siberia because I was not looking forward to the prospect of riding 500 kilometers in the rain, I tell you that. No. No way. We've done 200 kilometers of the journey already and we've got 300 kilometers to go so we're doing pretty good heading for Scovardino or Scovardino Scovardino? <laughs> Scodo... Sco... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yesterday tried to teach me some Russian words and it's really hard for me to pronounce them so I couldn't really learn anything Come on, come on, tell me, oh, tell no, me what you no, got, what no. you got? <laughs> Didn't you? You were trying to learn. I'm sorry, I don't speak Russian. In Venice, no Baruski. No Baruski. Yes. Okay. Because if you travel in a, a country where you don't know the language, it's always good to learn at least this sentence. Sorry, I don't speak your language. It's Venice. Uh, what was it? <laughs> We're just stopping here at a cafe for a break. Just gonna see if there's some coffee for us. This one? Ah. Uh, okay. Yep. Hot water? Here. Okay. I wasn't really sure what to do. I was like looking around like, okay, cup, coffee, milk. Anyway. Cheers. Hello. It looks like a wolf, hey? Yeah. Come here. Good job. Sergey gave us yesterday a pine cone and then he showed us that you can open them up and then you have pine nuts here. You can just open them. And then 
<laughs> we have a precious little wow. pine nuts in there. They are delicious. To think all the pine cones we walked past in our lives without realizing that they were edible. <laughs> I think somebody else is interested in the pine cones. Oh. Hey, you want some pine cones? Wow, we are still riding in the sun at the moment, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> It doesn't look good ahead. Let's enjoy the last sunshine on our faces. Yeah, it looks like the rain is going to come back sooner than expected, actually. I was so nice dried off. Even my gloves, they dried off. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's getting like, really dark up ahead, I think. Um, wow, look at that. Hopefully, we'll somehow, by a miracle, avoid the rain. 15 minutes later. <laughs> So we've just arrived at the only major junction that we're going to be hitting on our journey through Siberia. This road this way goes all the way to Magadan. This way is to Ulanude where we're headed and this way back to Vladivostok. So we have ridden so far from Vladivostok through Habarovsk and now here. And if we were to take this road We'd be heading this way all the way to the very, very, very edge of Russia. But we're taking this road all the way. Wait, where are we going? Oh, here, Ulan Ude, just next to Lake Baikal. It's pretty cool, hey? Yeah, it's pretty cool. We have another 20 minutes to ride to get into town, to get into Skovorodino. And then let's see if they have a room for us. Uh, English, English. English. Uh, what's that one? Fully. Yeah. No room. No. He said no, no, here, here. Okay. Maybe we go into yeah. town then, yeah? Yeah. Okay. 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 Come on, come on, Yeah. Thank you. So we've just turned off the main road and heading down into Skovorodino. It's like nine kilometers down this road, but I didn't realize that it was unpaved. This place is actually like the biggest place here around this area. And you can't believe that every car pretty much has to go down this road to, to reach the town. I just have a look here online on Google uh, Maps and see if there's any um, place where we can stay tonight. Somewhere here? Amur is coming up in 300 feet on the left side normally but I don't know if Google Maps is right or not right so normally it's like on the left here but wait a second wait 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 let's go back to the main street So those guys are full too. Yeah. All right, we'll have to we'll have to look on the map and see what else we can find. Okay, so that's two hotels that we've been to that both say they're full. We're going to try the municipal hotel. It's called, and this is on the main street. So it looks like it has a lot of rooms. So I'd be really surprised if that was full as well. But <laughs> yeah. Okay, it says a hotel symbol there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I will ask you. Let's try it. Look, it looks busy as well with all the cars. Yeah. Anyway, I will try. Okay. No rooms in this hotel. A guy just told me because of workers, a lot of workers coming here to this town. So there are no free rooms. We will try another hotel now. 20 minutes later. So it looks like even hotel number four has no rooms for us. So Lavi is asking whether or not we can camp somewhere around, like in the garden or in the courtyard or something like that. Because it looks like 
every single hotel in this town is completely booked up. Which is kind of crazy. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry, I hope you find something. I want to ask her for security reasons if you can camp underneath this bit there. Yeah, I would prefer that because I just don't like to be um, so visible to everybody. Okay, so this hotel actually said that we could pitch our tent just here in front of the hotel. Yeah, she wasn't actually too happy and it took quite a while like I was talking to her and I was saying like because of security reasons I said we are both very small and not very strong so if something happens it's not very good for us and she's like okay you can camp here underneath the balcony and then you leave tomorrow morning at seven I said yes okay deal. I prefer to pitch the tent right in front of the hotel at least then we're a little bit I don't know safer maybe we'll see anyway we're gonna pitch the tent just here There's this dog hanging around here, but then we were looking at it and we were like, this doesn't look like a dog. And then we looked up the golden jackal here in Russia. Look, it's exactly a golden jackal. Crazy, no? Beautiful. We made it! Happy and alive! <laughs> yeah, this is us for the night apparently. Camping in front of the hotel. Wow, what a day, what a day. At first riding through the rain like crazy, crazy, crazy. Then we arrived here in town hoping for a nice relaxing room. No rooms. In the whole town, no rooms. And we talked to Can't believe it. a few workers here. They just arrived in town. They will stay for another five days but no rooms. This is them looking around now, look. It looks actually like that they would just sleep in their truck here. Wow, it's super crazy, man. I had no idea that the town is that busy. The only thing we can hope is that when we move on, the next place that we stop tomorrow is gonna be a little bit easier. So yes, we will just head into our little cozy house and prepare some dinner and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time a nice noodles with a boiled egg given to us by oya doesn't get better than that hey hello is he there yeah